three main reasons that when you throw a softball, the spin is bad and your accuracy is no good. All right, so in this video, we'll cover three big things that influence the spin of your throw after you throw it in slow pitch or fast pitch softball and some of the things you can do to correct that. So the first thing that causes bad spin when throwing a softball is your grip. Here's the grip that you should be using. You wanna take a four seam grip and you wanna put three fingers over top of the horseshoe. You can hold it like this or you can hold it like this, but these three fingers should go just over top of the seam and they should be close enough together where there's no more than a one finger gap. If your grip looks like this, or if it looks like this, or if it looks like this, or if your thumb is on the side, you want your thumb on the bottom of the ball. This is gonna give the most stable roll off of your fingers where you're applying all of your force through the center, and then you'll get good spin that looks like that instead of spin that has lots of side spin mixed in. Now, when you grab a, a ground ball in a game or you catch a fly ball, you might not have always have time to get a four seam grip, but you wanna do your best. At the very least, keep your fingers pretty close together because then they're gonna push more evenly through the center of the ball and that will fix a lot of your spin problems when throwing a softball. The second reason you're getting bad spin when throwing a softball, whether you're a slow pitch or a fast pitch player, is because of your glove side and what it does. So when you throw a softball, your glove should do one of two things. It should swim out and either tuck next to your side as your chest sort of moves towards your glove like this, or your glove is gonna fall and still be close to your side. So when you release the ball, you should be here and your glove should either be long or it should be tucked like this. Now in this throw that I'm overlaying, you can see how I pull my glove in tight and how that affects my direction towards my target, how my chest and everything is moving towards my target. So when you have a glove arm that produces bad spin on your throw, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna start to yank open. You're gonna see a lot of space between your body. So if your glove arm swings out like a door, it's gonna open your chest to your target too soon and then your hands gonna get on the side of the ball and that's gonna produce the bad spin that we don't want when throwing a softball. And my third reason that softball players commonly get bad spin on their throws is when their chest faces their target too soon. And I just alluded to this a little bit, your glove arm can be a contributor if your glove arm really pulls you open too, too soon or if your footwork is bad. If your footwork is bad and you're landing like this, now my chest is too open to my target when my chest should be closed to my target like this. So you wanna make sure whether you catch a fly ball or you grab a ground ball in the outfield or if you scoop up a ground ball in the infield, one of the first things you have to do is get your feet perpendicular to your target. So now my chest is closed. And now as I'm moving towards my target, my chest is gonna be here rather than if my feet are open, my chest is here and then I'm gonna push the ball and I'm gonna get bad spin. So hopefully this video was helpful. These are three really important beginner tips and they can be advanced tips as well. Lots of players struggle with this, even at higher levels of softball. These things can make a big difference. Practice them in your pregame throwing routines when you're getting warmed up. And of course, anytime you have a dedicated throwing session. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Check out my online throwing courses for fast pitch and softball or and slow pitch softball. You'll find those below. And I'll see you here in the next video.